good evening, everyone. Well, on Saturday morning, six weeks of training at CrossFit 906 in Ishpeming was put to the ultimate test, a 5K race through the craziest of obstacles and a whole lot of mud. Here's my report from Saturday's second annual Mud Plunge 5K in the latest installment of JT Takes On. Well, we have about 20 minutes or so until the race gets going. I have uh, surveyed the course. Uh, there are a lot of people here. The course looks uh, very muddy, very dirty, and uh, it's going to be a challenge. So let's see what happens. After a series of stretches and a warm-up jog, it was time to line up for the competitive race. I had a goal set of finishing the race in 30 minutes. In the back of my mind, all I wanted to do was finish. 10 to 12 runners were released at a time. Early on, I had a pretty good pace going. The course was set up with a lot of hills, something I did not expect, which made stopping to rehydrate a must in the 85 plus degree heat. In addition to all the hills and mud, there were a lot of obstacles throughout the race that each runner had to conquer. Climbing the wall I thought was going to be the most difficult challenge. That was until I got to the half pipe. I was both muddy and exhausted. Having ran almost three miles, my body was feeling the effects, but the race wasn't quite over with. The half pipe looked tough, but I went for it, and on attempt number one, I didn't quite make it. After just missing the first time, my second attempt, with some help, was a success. Your reward for getting over the half pipe, you guessed it, more mud. After crawling out of the mud and reacquiring my timing wristband that snapped off climbing the half pipe, I was just one obstacle away from finishing. But that obstacle was not fun. I used every last ounce of energy I had left to crawl my way through the ropes and mud. Finally, after crossing the finish line at 38 minutes, 48 seconds, the race was over. Very grueling, a lot of hills, as you can see, a lot of mud. I've never been so exhausted in my entire life. Over 1,000 people ran the mud plunge, and many of the competitors can't wait to do it next year. Yeah. Would you run this race again? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not as so much fun. It's messy, but fun. <laughs> it was pretty tough because um, it got all up in my face and my eyes, so I couldn't see, but it was um, fine after. After finishing in just below 39 minutes, I now have something to look forward to and train for next summer. And if you have an idea for another episode of JT Takes On, well, I would love to hear about it. Just send me an email to jerrytaylor at abc10up.com. Cynthia, i got to thank a few people. Obviously, CrossFit 906 for the training. Um, the GINCC for allowing me to participate in the race. The Vitalis for that awesome GoPro footage. They said, hey, do you want it? I said, yeah, I'll take it and take a look at it. And my crew that helped me shoot it on Saturday.